Run It Studios is the home of the Run Radio podcast and runradio.net, a podcast and station about the relentless, resilient, and innovative types, inspiring strides in life, business, and beyond. Welcome back to the Run Radio podcast. I'm Trina and Run Radio Fitness has a long-standing partnership with the Bass Pro Fitness Series. I'm Trina and my guest, Melissa Bondi, knows the ins and outs of what it takes to put on this fantastic event. Welcome and tell me all about it. <laughs> well, thank you for having me and also for, uh, you know, sharing such great information with this community. I think that's really important um, and it helps all of us grow together. So yay for uh, for uh, all of us getting to be here today. Yeah. Yeah. So the fitness series, you know, we are in our 18th year. I know. I know. Isn't it crazy? Um, it just seems like yesterday that, that we got started, but yeah, 18 years. And of course our mission is to help people love, enjoy, and conserve the great outdoors. And maybe to do that a little bit differently, obviously connected to Bass Pro Shops, whose total mission is focused on enjoying the outdoors and conservation um, and in hunting and fishing and hiking and canoeing and kayaking. And this is just one more way to uh, express that mission through the physical activity that we promote in the great outdoors. Yeah, you've been doing a great job and there's something for everybody. I mean, you've got so many different events. Tell everybody how they can get plugged into all the different ones. Well, I think that's that's really truly the benefit of what we do um, is that it there there is something for every level of fitness. And so we highly promote walking any of our events. Uh, you can obviously run them as well. Um, but throughout the course of the year, we offer just different distances that incorporate different challenges so people can choose what fits best for them. Um, and again, I think when people complete activities like this, it changes the way we think about ourselves. We always talk about we change from the inside out, not the outside in. Yeah. Um, the changes that take place in our you know, cardiovascular system, our, our brains, um, everything comes together and helps us, I think, think about what we're capable of doing a little bit differently. So as we look at this fall, we have our Run the Rock coming up in September, that's September 7th. And that's a three miler and a six miler at top of the rock. Now, Trina, you've been there before, right? I've actually not done that one in the series. That's one I have not done yet. Well, you need to do it. It is without a doubt, one of the most unique um, experiences I think a runner can have for sure in the state of Missouri and definitely in the Midwest too. So, you know, we start up where the sinkhole was mm -hmm. or is, and now that is a nature's cathedral. Um, Johnny Morris has kind of dug it out and you get to see the beautiful rock formations underneath. So that's actually the start. And then um, we run up to the highest point where you can see Table Rock Lake right in front of you. Um, and you come back down and run through the cave and by a bunch of waterfalls and beautiful bridges with amazing overlooks. Um, so we have both a three mile and a six mile opportunity there and you can walk. Um, both of those. There's enough time uh, allotted to complete those activities. Um, so that's Run the Rock. And then we get to October and we've got our kids run, our zombie run, mm -hmm. which is an absolute blast. There's, I always tell folks, there's nothing like watching children run mm -hmm. um, when they want to. Now, if they're being forced to, totally different. But <laughs> if they are out there of their own accord, uh, it's like, watching joy explode. It's just so, so neat. And so we have four different distances from a quarter mile, a half mile, one mile and two miles. We work with the um, Springfield County Park Board, Spark, and the Rutledge Wilson Farm Park on that event. So the kids get to go run the distance of their choosing, and then they get to go through the uh, Rutledge Wilson Farm Festival. Um, Fall festival, actually, I guess is probably a more accurate term for it. So lots of fall fun activities after that. So that's Saturday, October 19th. And then we have a two-day health and well-being expo, November 1st and 2nd. And those are those days are fully open to the public and they're free. We'll have 50 vendors who focus on health and well-being there, just sharing information, some prizes, opportunity to learn and have fun. 
And then uh, of course on Sunday, November 3rd this year, uh, we have our full marathon, our half marathon, our relay, um, and our 5K. So, and we're blessed that weekend, especially we work with um, commercial metting, metal recycling on the 5K. It's a CMC 5K, and we work with Staples Business Advantage on that marathon relay. Those are partners that help us put those things together, um, which is wonderful. And then um, Missouri Beef Industry Council is a big sponsor for that as well. Um, just a lot of a lot of great sponsors, and I'll talk more about that here in a minute because we couldn't do what we do without the help of these wonderful people and businesses. Um, so yeah, so we'll have about between 3,200 and 3,600 people running that weekend um, and walking. Again, a lot of walkers, totally walkable courses. And then the following weekend, November 9th and 10th, we have our Dogwood Canyon 25K and 50K on the 9th and our 15K on the 10th. Um, incredible. That, that is yet another venue um, that is, you know, just, it's something you, you truly have to see. It's not something you can really describe. Um, just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful venue. And of course, last spring we had, or early in the spring, or pardon me, late in the spring, we had our Finley River um, run for 4.17 miles, our first experience at Finley. Um, Finley Farms. And so that was neat to be able to expose people to that urban farm as well. So, and there are more activities in there as well. We just finished the recycle run. We've got some training runs coming up and just a lot of opportunities for people to determine how they want to get healthy and to be able to start moving outside. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Let's do talk about the sponsors and then the charities that benefit from this whole event. Absolutely. So, you know, we work with uh, sponsors and anywhere from Under Armour for Top of the Rock, they're the presenting sponsor. So the t-shirts that are given out that day are, are Under Armour shirts, compliments of them. Um, and they've been a partner of ours now for, I think, five or six years. Um, truly a wonderful group of folks with which to work. Um, to other organizations like Rick's Automotive and um Sam's Club helps sponsor our finish lines and First Impressions Printing does a lot of our printing for us. Um, there's a there's a long list. We could not get out of a conversation without talking about uh, Mercy because their sports medicine team is on site for all of our events led by Dr. Huff. Um, and they are also the primary medical group responsible for Marathon Weekend, so they're out on the course. Um, just a huge, huge help to all of us, keeping our runners uh, and participants safe. And then the Springfield Police Department is a wonderful partner in the city of Springfield. Um, there's just uh, no end to a lot of the opportunities that we have to work with different groups in the city. Um, First Form and Coke, Coca-Cola, the Ozarks. I mean, they have been with us since the very beginning of the fitness series in 2007. Um, you know, all these businesses come together and and help us to serve the community in ways I think that are really meaningful because it's a dual purpose. Um, it's an activity that brings people together, but it's also um, a series of activities that help people stay healthy. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not just a physical health. You know yourself how important physical activity is mm -hmm. to your uh, psychological health. Yes. Very yeah. much. You're right. It, it's such a camaraderie and the community around here of runners and walkers. It's so supportive and encouraging. I think everybody knows that everyone's at different levels. Nobody expects anybody to run like they run or walk like they run. It's just all about encouraging each other and doing good to and for one another. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think that's one of the best things about Springfield um, I lived in Joplin for a while and mm -hmm. um, for six years, actually. And when the people in Joplin found out that uh, I was moving to Springfield, they were they were just kind of beside themselves like, oh, you're you're going to a running community that really sticks together. And the running groups there um, are terrific and they they truly train together, a very supportive running environment. And I um, was blown out of the water. Um, when I moved here and started to experience what those running communities were really like, because it, it wasn't just 
OMRR or, uh, you know, some of, I guess I should say it was OMRR that was kind of the leader in that, the Ozark Mountain Ridge Runners. And then you also have a running group on Tuesday night led by Vic from Cox Health. And you've got a running group Wednesday morning, and then you've got the Nixon running group. And we've got some fantastic leadership in, involved in that as well. And so it's the whole area, very um, big group in Branson that runs too. So um, people are terrific at coming together and supporting one another and um, helping move a lot of the local events along. Mm -hmm, for sure. Mm -hmm. Now, I also like that the running community is so passionate about giving back. And that's what a, a, lo a lot of runners are excited to go to a race because they know it's going to help somebody else out. So what's that like for the fitness series to how do you decide? How does it work when you're giving back? Well, great question. Um, and that has evolved through the years. Um, we were looking at at um, kind of an overview last year of where we are. And, um, you know, we, we positively impacted over 700,000, almost 750,000 people in the years that we've We've been here just through the events themselves, not including what we've done for charity. We've also given away over $650,000. And um, that's a thank you to Bass Pro because Bass Pro really has never taken the funds from mm -hmm. the fitness series. It's always given it back to the community. So we have some charities that have worked with us from the inception of the fitness series. Um, and they have just been partners like Big Brothers, Big Sisters of the Ozarks and uh, girls on the run. Those are two charities that have kind of been with us since we since we began or very close to that time frame. And um, we also give back to Isabel's House regularly and champion athletes of the Ozarks. A lot of organizations that serve kids and use um, activity as a way to help in that service. Um, in addition to that, you can volunteer with the fitness series for your group and earn $10 per hour per volunteer. So Last year, we gave sixteen over $16,000 back to local charities just from people who are willing to give their time uh, on behalf of a charity. So when you sign up to volunteer, you can choose the charity that you wish your time to go to, and that money gets allocated based on your choice as a volunteer. So I think, you know, there's probably another, in addition to the five to six that seem to be core with us. Um, there's another probably eight to 10 charities every year that benefit simply because they have people who show up to, to volunteer their time yeah. for them. That's great. You really established this fitness series in Springfield, Missouri. You've got to be proud of that. And looking back, what has been something you've enjoyed seeing evolve through the years with all of that? Uh, there's a couple things, but I think one of the top pieces is the acceptance of it by the city. Yeah. I think there's a pride here. Um, you know, still not everybody knows about the fitness series. That's evident, you know, until you get to that weekend and maybe you're trying to marathon weekend, you're trying to drive through the city and you're like, what is going on? Um, but I, I think that there has been such growth in the relationships within the city and in awareness um, uh, and within the city as well. Um, you know, we work with the Office of Emergency Management and they have been outstanding in helping us make safety and security moves forward. Mm -hmm. And from year to year, seeing the relationship we have with that group and all the groups that then come together in conjunction with that planning process, we have, we've grown. It's kind of like we know with the right hand and the left hand, they know what they're doing and they're working together as opposed to working on different, different pieces. So uh, that to me has been a, a really wonderful piece. And then that in turn means building it into the culture of the community. We have neighborhood groups, we call it the neighborhood challenge. And these are neighborhood association associations within the city uh, and they don't have a lot of money, you know, to improve their neighborhoods or to do activities that that are helpful to the people that live in their neighborhood. And so they they can participate with us and the participants 
uh, can vote on which neighborhood has done the best job. And then of course we have a group of cyclists that also vote and then some other random people that are out on the course that we ask. And we give away anywhere from 10 to $12,000 yearly back to those groups. And they use those things to improve their uh, parks and to provide activities, um, to do the things that they don't necessarily have the money to do. So that has been a blast for me to watch as well. Um, the neighborhoods now look forward to it. They ask me a lot of questions even before we get started. And uh, it's it's been a, a really nice thing to get to see how much pride they take in doing this and in giving back. What's on your wish list for the race and the series? What do you wish for it to grow into or change, evolve into as the future comes this way? That's a wonderful question because, you know, my, my, I don't know that my wish has changed since the first day I started working with it um, in 2008. I think my wish continues to be that this series of events promotes growth mm -hmm. for people individually, for the running community as a whole, for Springfield as a whole, we know that it has, um, you know, benefited the community economically with up to 2000 hotel nights a year. Um, and of course that also includes pulling people in from anywhere from 42 to 48 states on a yearly basis. And that's across all events, not just marathon weekend. And, you know, so, so my wish is that it continues to grow, but that it continues to grow in a way that allows people to feel like they are important and that they matter. Mm -hmm. This is not about running a race. None of it is about just running races. Um, that is, if, if that's all we wanted to do, you know, that that's not a bad thing. There's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with that. But for us, this is so much more when people participate in these events in any way, shape or form, whether you're a volunteer, a runner, a walker, an expo um, participant, uh, whether you're on the police force, you know, whoever we work with, we want you to walk away knowing that we genuinely value you and care about you. Um, and that this is truly about service. Um, it's, it's really about helping people become who they're capable of being, no matter what role you play um, in helping it come to fruition. So participant or whether you're giving to it in a different way. Um, so my wish is that it continues to be true to kind of that internal value that every single person who comes to us in any way, shape or form is valuable and special. And it is our job to make sure that they have a fantastic experience so that they can go on and do great things. You're doing a great job at it and I believe it will. Thank you so much for what you're doing and sharing. Tell people where they can go to learn more if they don't already know. Uh, our website is fitness.basspro.com and you can also email me at fitness at basspro.com and I can uh, provide you with any information you might need. And uh, just thank you for allowing us to have a little bit of time to talk about it. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Be sure you're following along. Link over and watch more from runradio.net.